If you're planning to use Vimeo um, to, you know, to host your videos or whatever, the first thing you're going to need to do is when you go to choose a file to upload, you are going to want to hide this video from Vimeo. And the reason that you want to do that is so that, you know, people can't uh, see the video, download the video. If you're putting your video up in a course, in an online course, you're selling that product. So you want to make sure that your video and your um, product is kept safe. So the first thing we're going to do is say hide this video as it uploads and then we're going to click edit settings. And then inside your settings there's a ton of different things you can do. If this video was going to be public you would want to add a description and tags and all of that sort of thing. Since this video is not going to be public I'm not going to worry about any of that. Instead, I'm going to click on the privacy icon. Now, under privacy, I need to make sure that the video is hidden. So I don't want anybody to be able to see it. So I want the video hidden. And then I only want to be able to embed it on the site that I choose. So for instance, I'm embedding it on my course site. I do not want anybody to be able to comment on this video, nor do I want them to be able to download it. Then I'm going to choose save changes. The next thing I want to do is I want to hop over here to embed. Now this is where I can actually set up player preferences. Do you see how this video has my image and a title and all this stuff taking up space on the video? So I want to uncheck a lot of this stuff. So what I did was I created a preset up here at the top called course videos. And, and this helps me to very quickly and easily get a lot of these things taken off. So in other words, I got rid of use a specific color, use the badge, use the like button, use the watch later, blah, 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 blah. All of these things that people might be able to do with my video. So I removed the ticks on all of those. And then the next thing I want to do is make sure that I hide the portrait, the title, and the byline. And so I'm going to do that really quickly. And now as you can see, the video is nice and clean and ready to go. I also want to make sure that the video shows from the beginning um, and that it does not go back to like a normal regular video would where it gives you lots of options uh, to click on a different video. I just want it to start back at the beginning because this video is going in my course. Next thing I want to do is hit save changes. And now you can see that the video is just saved and it's ready to roll. So once I am ready to embed this, I want to go and take, I want to go back to basics and I want to actually choose a thumbnail that I want to use for the frame that the user is going to see or my learner is going to see. And I typically just use this startup frame right here. So now we're ready to go. Now I can go grab my embed code, which is right up here. And there I go. Now I can embed this in my online course. So there you go. That's all you need to do.